we are going fishing in the morning in this beautiful new boat let's go Lights are working, 360 light, my nav lights, everything's working. Let's get going. So I forgot the ice at the boat ramp and mom came in clutch and brought it. Thank you much. <laughs> All right, love you. Okay, later. Love you too. All right, later. Bye, All right. Thanks for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. I am super excited this morning. As you can see, I'm in something that I haven't been in in a while since Hurricane Sally took my old one. Yes, I'm in a boat. And a scout boat to be exact. A 177 Sport Fish. This thing is sweet. Got a 90 horsepower Yamaha on it and it freaking flies. So I got some live shrimp and we're gonna go do some fishing and we're gonna go target some redfish and speckled trout today. Maybe sheep's head, but we are in transition. It is early springtime here in South Alabama and these reds and trout should start pushing out of these creeks and moving into these pockets and moving into the marsh grass um, for their spring pattern and then getting ready for their summer pattern moving out into the bays. But before we get to fishing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I appreciate it if you already have appreciate you now let's get to fishing so i am going to keep fish today i'm going to try to get a good boat load we'll see what happens but i do have the measuring stick from the kayak here because <laughs> i have not yet got a sticker so i did get a brand new mincota trolling motor with the iPilot, and i installed that myself and uh this is awesome There we go. Let's turn this on. Never had a screen before. I had the motor guide on my other one, but this one has a screen, so it tells you battery life and everything. Speed and direction. All right, let's turn that on. The steering's a little different than I'm used to. But it works. So, my install is pretty clean too. Now the boat is pretty dirty because of storm. But let's get to, let's do some fishing. Dad. All right, I'm gonna be throwing and fishing one of my favorite styles of fishing. That's popping cork with a live shrimp. And all I have here is a bomber popping cork, which I love these. I got a titanium wire and brass beads, so they hold up really well. Never had one break on me. I have 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon, about two foot of it. I pinch a little split shot weight on there, and then a one alt must add inline perfect circle hook. So what I'm throwing this on is a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 3000, spooled up with 15 pound Power Pro and a St. Corey Mojo Yak, seven foot medium action rod. And my bait's gonna be some live shrimp, which I love my angle bait coolers. If you're ever on the edge of buying one, I highly suggest it. I've had this one forever, it survived the hurricane. And I actually, and I actually use it a lot of times over my boat. Oh. Head. And boom, just like that. And that shrimp will stay alive on that hook till it gets eaten or until you out, or until you overfish it. Fish bean chased right here. Now I have some artificials too, but I really like throwing live shrimp. And this is something anybody can do if you have a boat or a kayak. Come up in marshes and fish. 
and I'm trying to get a good haul for the freezer. And when you're fishing with a live shrimp under cork, let the shrimp do most of the work, but every now and then just give it a give it a good little pop or two and then stop. Don't overwork it with the live shrimp. If you're using artificial, you can go, 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 but with the live shrimp, don't overwork it. And the wind here, so it might be a little hard. There we go. Oh, something's trying to eat it. Look at that. There we go. Fish. Oh, good. Oh, good fish. There we go. Good fish. Oh, it came off. You know what? I wasn't really prepared for that. Dang. Okay. You know, I was not prepared for that. I'm sitting here fighting it like I'm dumb. First time fishing. All right, let's get it. Let's cast that back out. Huh? Pretty heavy fish, so thought it was a pinfish for a second. Dang, all right. Dude, this 24 volt trolling motor pushes this boat freaking crazy. If I know how to, if I can figure out how to work it. All right. All right, it's time to get the Lucky Craft jerk bait out. And this is one of my favorite. This is one of my absolute favorite lures. This is a Lucky Craft Pointer 78 or 73. I can't remember, but it's a 70 version. It's like four inches long, pretty much three and a half inches. And uh, man, I've caught some fish on this. So. And all I'm doing is rigging this up with 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, 15 pound power pro braid, Shimano Stratic 2500 HG, and a St. Croix Mojo Yak seven foot medium action rod. fish oh there we go there we go a little bitty fish oh croaker <laughs> i caught a croaker did he actually try did i snag him or did he actually try to eat it, it looks like i might have snagged him all right dude that's a really good redfish bait. Really good to pan fry too. And they make a funny noise. Let's throw them back. Oh, there we go. There we go. Speckle trout. Speckle trout. It ain't a keeper. There we go. Get off. <laughs> I don't want to bring it if it ain't a keeper. He's a little bitty. But that's a good sign. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, good. Dang. Good fish. Good fish. Oh. Ah, there we go. Good fish. What is it? Good Lord. Okay. Good gracious. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, what are you? Oh, show yourself. Mm, that's gotta be a redfish. Mm. Oh. Dang, what the? What is going on here? Oh, yeah, that's a nice red. Oh, yeah, beautiful redfish. Look at that. About the boat flipped. Oh, maybe not. All right. Boat flipped. <laughs> all right that's a keeper yeah. they do have to be 16 to 26 inches and he is 18 slate just caught this beautiful 18 inch redfish and this one's gonna go in the cooler and take home to eat but he ate the lucky craft pointer right here just a good looking bait so let's put him in the cooler and let's get back to fishing all right so call him right around this corner 
See if there's any more sitting over here. Good cast. Oh, damn, come on. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Dude. It's a, it's a, it's a big fish. What's going on? Get out of loop. I guess it took me in a tree. Yeah, took me in a tree. So I, I hooked a fish and then it took off. And then suddenly just, I can't do nothing. Like I can't reel, it, it, nothing's moving. So it was fighting me and I, I guess what happened is it hung me up on a, on a branch underneath the water. The hook got stuck on the branch, causing the hook to get out of the fish's mouth. So I had to pop off, but uh, I don't know what the heck that was, but that was weird. Never had that happen before. So, but there's always a first for everything. But we're gonna keep on fishing and see what we can get. Oh my golly! Good lord! Holy sh! <laughs> Good gracious, dude! Did anybody just see that freaking tarpon? Oh my god, dude. Oh my goodness. Holy sh. Dude, that was a freaking huge tarpon, bro. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's a fish, too. That's not the tarpon, but that's a fish. Oh, that's a good one. Good, great. Golly, dude. Come here. Dude, that was a tarpon. Holy crap. Oh. Come here, trout. Come here. About to boat flip you. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper there. Come on. All right, I just got this beautiful speckled trout. In the state of Alabama, speckled trout do have to be 15 to 22 inches. It is a slot size. You're allowed six of them. And this one falls right in that slot. So I'm gonna put it in the cooler, but did y'all see that freaking tarp? Man, that was, that was the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. Like, I hope that got on film because that was the coolest thing ever. <sighs> see if we can hook it. That'd be cool if we can get it on the boat. So, but let's get back to fishing. That was so crazy. Man. There you go. That was nuts. <sighs> oh my gosh. Got to break in the trolling motor somehow. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a fish. Even after beating the heck out of my trolling motor on the on that stick, there's a fish. <laughs> Good fish too. Good trout. Hmm. Dang, go, on, dude. Come here. <laughs> what are you? Man, that's a nice trout, man. Hmm. Hmm. Dude, that's a solid trout. Keeper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop. <laughs> About boat flip. And boat flipped. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Dude, that's a solid trout. What a stud fish. Man, another good fish. 18 inch speckled trout on the Lucky Craft Pointer. And I was just making a bunch of noise. I beat the heck out of my trolling motor on the freaking tree there. And, and uh, he still ate, so heck yeah. Ooh, that was a fish. Come back for it. Oh, there, oh, come on. Paused it. 
It wants it. Oh my golly, dude, that was beautiful feed. Oh my god, that was an awesome feed. It's not hooked that good. Oh, come on, boat flip, boat flip, boat flip. Oh, and it's gone, and it's gone. <laughs> I don't have a net on this boat yet, so and I don't really feel like getting a whole bunch of hooks in my hand. But that would have been a keeper, keeper fish. So, dang. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to boat flip things, though. All right, let's see if I can catch another one. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good fish. Oh man, that is a solid trout. Look at the wake it just left. It doesn't feel like it's hooked that good though. <clears throat> Don't jump. Yeah, it's not. Let's see if I can figure out a way to get this fish. Oh yeah, it's not hooked good at all. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> let's see how I can get this fish. Oh, stay. Hooked good. Oh, this one's going to get lost. I just have a feeling. Mm -mm. Stop. Oh, got it. <laughs> I need to get a net, okay? I know, I know. Dude, what a great, great way to break in a new boat. Like, this is freaking awesome. So, I'm going to put him in the cooler. He just measured out to 18 and a quarter. And that was on the Lucky Craft Pointer. So I got three trout so far and one redfish. I would have one more trout, but I tried to boat flip it and, and lost it. So let's see if we can get another one. That'd be cool. I'm telling you, these Lucky Craft baits hold up better than any other hard plastic I've used jerk bait wise. And I've caught so many fish on this one bait. And uh I thought, and the bill hasn't broke, my hooks haven't broke. I did bend out this hook just now pulling it out of that trout which I can just go and re-bend it in boom and it's good to go and the color on it is immaculate but they are a little pricey but they're well worth it and everything I'm using is going to be linked in the description below if you're if you didn't catch it in the video you can check the description and uh, find out what I'm using That was weird. I don't know what that fish was, but definitely weird. Probably a little trout. But it was really fun over here. Freaking got tarpon. I hope that showed on camera, but that was an awesome tarpon for this type of water. And then uh, even if I didn't hook it and bring it to the boat, it was still pretty cool seeing it. And then I got some nice trout and nice slot redfish. So I'm going to pick up the trolling motor, crank the boat up, and head out. All right. Now this boat has hydraulic steering and tilt wheel, which is cool. So I like it. So you can stand up and hold onto this grab rail when you need to. And then if you want, which I like sitting down in this comfortable seat and uh, going fast. So. I got the boat on the trailer. I'm going to head in. So it's getting a little windy and a little cold. Can't complain about catching some solid specks and a nice red fish. And the boat performed really nice. Nothing to complain about. So, but I appreciate you watching and hanging in there with me as I went fishing in this early cold spring day. I'm going to go clean the boat up, clean the fish up that I caught. I got a little bit of errands to run and then 
I'm gonna go chill inside. It's getting cold. So, but appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you have, I appreciate you. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us, and we'll see you later. Yeah.